Legends have been spun around a place where so much blood has been spilled, so many battles have been fought, so many wars decided. That throughout the ages, the accumulated suffering has charged it with powers reaching beyond the physical. It is said that there a warrior can go and have his abilities judged with brutal honesty of the oracle. This is the next destination of my journey. What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the good old 45er. Today is the day we're gonna attack the 45er again for the first time in maybe 5 months. Even almost six months, maybe even half a year. So this bad boy there uh, is already waiting for me, it's awaiting my fingers, my soft little fairy princess fingers to attack. Uh, the plan for today is make a little bit of a warm up, as usual, mobilizing routine, you know the deal. And then we're gonna do a little bit of hanging, just pure hanging on the holes. And then we're gonna take a look at past uh, Andromeda wall episodes to see where the easier boulders are and how they went, what I already have done in the past, you know? And I still remember, of course, how most of these boulders feel. I invented them myself. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to retry some of these boulders, yeah? So let's do it. The first boulder we're gonna attack today is called Hired Moment. And I think I created this way back uh, around 7 a now let's check out if we actually fit into the Scarpa Instinct DS skill. Yeah. Ooh, that goes well. I would have expected worse stuff to happen here, I must say. Since it worked out so well with 7A, let's progress to the 7A plus. We've got a boulder called Anedlet, or I think Medlet, which means basically not easy in English. So starting at the green one, white, small, juggy hole. Here this pill like hole, a little bit of an edge, so we gotta be careful with that one. Here beautiful pinchy gray hole with the yellow banana and the orange hop jar. Okay, pretty straightforward as well. Mostly uh, I would say rather body strength than thin strength. Okay? So let's see how it goes. Whoa. Close. We managed the hard move to stick the hard move, but then we couldn't hit the feet. And this is something that I already noticed. Funny thing feet accuracy is completely down, man. I'm trying to hit footholds and my foot just goes 10 centimeters to the right, 10 centimeters to the left, up and down, but never precisely on the foot. This is something that you majorly lose when you uh, make a longer break, the feet accuracy. And that makes you feel really like a beginner again, okay? So this is a good way to put yourself in the position of a beginner who doesn't have this feet accuracy at all still. And this way, when we are asking ourselves, how can you not hit this foothold, you know? Well, when we take a break for three months and we ourselves lose this feet accuracy as well, this is something that we don't really need in all day life. And with climbing, of course, with the small footholds we do. So, yeah. Okay. There's too much power in this room here. Sorry. We didn't get stopped by the 7A. We didn't get stopped by the 7A plus, so we have to move on to the 7B. A boulder called the Camel Tail. Pretty interesting stuff, big red jump starting, then this camel peel hole after which the boulder is named second hole. Then we've got a bit of a crimp with the right hand, gotta be careful with that. Blue camel ball, super slopey, the blue and the slopey one, super slopey again, so not too intense. 
active holds really not so intense on the uh, oh yeah, the oh yeah. Joints, so that's it for coming back and the big blue jug at the top. Andromeda, my majesty, put me into place. Tell me where I belong. So what we have here in the back is a pretty hard second and third move. Yeah? And then the last move is as well is too pretty hard because a pretty big move from a pretty crappy slope <laughs> you have to hold really active. Damn. Didn't hit that one properly. Ah, that was a lot better already. That was a lot better already. So I guess we found pretty much the current limit grade, huh? Or at least the grade that I have to work significantly harder for, which is 7B Andromeda grading, as it seems. <laughs> Muscle in the forearms is creeping back in again, pretty solidly. I must uh, admit. Well, the challenge with the second move is you kind of have to turn in your right foot but there is this kind of volume there in the way so you can't really get your knee around it. Get your get your get your get your <sighs> Okay, bigger break incoming. And then you jump, you go dynamically if you don't have enough power on this left to have camel peel here which is another slopey creep really. You just have to go dynamically to the next screen. And then for the next move, the challenge is actually stepping this red jar starting move from before because in the way that you have to step it then a really bad football. Yeah. Oh. Then ah, there it is. Ah, yes! Ah. Nice. Nice. Making progress already in the first session. So I'd say I'm not gonna push it further than this. 7B is at the moment the limit, or let's say the healthy limit. Skin definitely already feelable. It's funny, I have the feeling that the chalk doesn't even stick to my fingers, yeah? because there is just so little traction for the chalk, I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's see, maybe we find another 7A plus or something to work on. And then we already finish up the session, I would say. I can feel it already pretty pretty strongly in the forearms and also in the shoulders, you know, with the dynamic moves you gotta be really careful when you come back like this that you don't fall into the straight shoulder all the, all the time too much, okay, because then you can injure yourself pretty quickly. And luckily I have pretty solid shoulders in general, also from all the, the planching and the calisthenic stuff and everything, so I don't worry too much about it for now, but yeah, just saying for the guys out there. Obviously, also slow as F, as you can see. Definitely lacking a bit of routine when it comes to climbing in general. One more try, and then this crazy session is gonna be over. Thankfully to the climbing gods, seems that everything is fine. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this comeback on the 45er. I foresee another session in two or three days, probably a Tuesday. And we're gonna come back and show what gains we've made already. Uh, maybe we can push them already through to 70 plus. Huh? We got ambitious goals all the time. So I hope you out there getting stronger as well. Uh, keep crashing and I'll see you soon in the next one. Drop a like, comments, and subscribe and blah 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 blah. Bye.